Hi, it's Galen. Today I'm here with Unity Stamp Company. I'm one of their design team members, and I'm going to show a vintage card today uh, with vintage papers, a vintage image, and vintage letters. I love it. Um, it's a different style for me, but I like playing with this. It is um, one of these stamp kits is called a smack kit. It's September 2019 smack kit called Be Very Merry. I also have um, tiled letters and I'm also showing rustic winter wishes pattern paper uh, that's a paper pack by Unity. I use Colorbox ink in Sweet Tooth along with a, a foam blender. I cut and stamped each of the letters out individually um, and I, I cut them out because I want to place them in different areas. Um, so you have the whole alphabet to choose from with these letters. I stamp them on uh, craft color ink and now I'm adding to each of the panels, uh, each of the letter panels, um, the edges are inked up with the Sweet Tooth ink. I just wanted more of a vintage feel to, for the letters. I just wanted them a little less perfect. And the, the paper is very vintage already, but I added some white ink to the edges of that as well. And uh, I trimmed that panel to fit on the card base, on the card front. Now for this image, it's a sketchy image, very vintage, sketched, sketchy looking. So I added various colors of Copic markers. The exact colors will be listed on my blog eventually but I just lay out on the craft mat some of the ones I want to try for the image. Uh, so this girl, I just layered, um, you know, light to dark and then back again to light again with color. I decided to keep her very neutral colors, uh, very minimal coloring. I decided to keep it more skin tone and, and beige colors. Um, I did use a little green and and red accents for the holly leaves. And so I'm um, just to speed up the coloring a little on this. So after I colored her in, I decided that she would fit better on this, this panel along with the letters if I did uh, cut her out. So I, I did some fussy cutting and I just cut her, her out so that um, I could add some foam tape to her to have her pop up a little bit off the page. And um, so she's going to be placed on that front panel along with the, the letters that's going to be eventually a holiday sentiment. So um, after I fussy cut her, I actually added a bit of tan outline around her because the white, I didn't want the white to show up so much with all the vintage looks. So I trimmed her to fit the card front. I adhered all the letters and the paper panel with clear double-sided tape. And I placed the letters where I think I might want them to be and to see if she fits on there uh, with the letters. So I trimmed her down a little bit so that she would fit and I placed her and then I had added a tiny bit of Tombow Mono Glue to each of the letters to um, place it so that you could see her nicely. I hope you like this vintage style card today. Thanks for watching. Take a mo moment to like and follow me. Have a great day.